Toxicology is the science that studies adverse effects of chemicals to living organisms. It integrates knowledge from biology, chemistry, physics, as well as medicine. Toxicity is typically measured in different types of studies or experiments. First of all, we have the in silico approaches where we use computers to predict the toxicity of uh, compounds relative to their structure. We use in vitro approaches using uh, tissue cultures or cell cultures. And lastly, we use in vivo approaches in which we test the compounds in living animals, laboratory animals. Animal testing remains important in toxicological assessment because it allows to test a compound or a complex mixture on a living organism which is as close as possible to a human being. Whenever we perform animal testing, we apply the three R principles in animal testing. The three R's stand for refinement, reduction and replacement of testing. Systems toxicology is the science that applies systems biology approaches to toxicology. First of all, let's see what systems biology is. As you know, living cells function through interactions of many molecules, among which we have genetic material, RNA, DNA, we have proteins, lipids and others. The interactions of these molecules are referred to as biological networks. There are many biological networks of a high level of complexity in the cell. Systems biology studies these networks. Systems toxicology measures the change in these networks after exposure to a chemical. In our assessment of reduced risk product, we measure the toxicity of conventional cigarette smoke as well as from the aerosols from the IRPs. If a product shows a reduced toxicity from our non-clinical assessment, it might mean that this product is safer. Nevertheless, the confirmation of this will come from very targeted clinical studies. 